2010. Yeah. Good year. It was, it was a great year. I mean, apart from what happened at World Strong Pro just before World Strong was made, probably actually my best year I'd had up yeah. to date. I'd, um, I'd done 14 competitions leading up to Europe's strongest man and come top three in every one of them. I was um, leading the Champions League for literally pretty much all the way through yeah. the year. It was going really great and um, got to Europe's strongest man. It was the last competition I was going to do before right. World's strongest man. Last event tore my bicep and um, yeah, so that, that was a massive dent in the, the build up to Worlds that year. That was on a stones too. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'd say that, does it, is it painful when you tear a bicep? I mean, because you look, when you turn around and look, you, you don't look in pain, you just look disappointed. Yeah, you know? I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know, I was pretty fired up for it because I was just, you know, wanting to win the stones and have a, have a shot of winning Europe's strongest man. I was still in with a chance of winning, yeah. a slim one, but I had a chance. But if I can get a good stone running, it's possible. So I went for it, was all fired up. And um, to be honest, I didn't. All I felt was a massive pop in my arm. There was no pain there whatsoever. So yeah, I, but I don't know if that was because I was fired up or not. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, 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 that was a real, real dent and pretty tough time afterwards when I had the surgery. Yeah, I had a lot of issues with um, the doctors from World's Strongest Man. Wouldn't wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it. And um, so there was a lot of uncertainty. You go for a medical deal. Yeah, obviously. you go yeah. for a medical to make sure you're, you're right yeah. and everything else. Did really? you feel ready? Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I, even when I did it, I thought I've got, if I can get the surgery done quickly, I've got a chance of getting back for Worlds. I knew I wouldn't be in top shape, but I, I, I felt like I could get back yeah. in time. And um, I carried on training, even when my arm was in the cast, I was literally training everything I could do. You know, loads of work on my good arm still, still training my lower body. And I mean, to be honest, I actually think that helped a lot. Yeah. I mean, I, although I wasn't in top shape at World's Strongest Man, I did feel like I was competitive. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, yeah, it was, I mean, it was a tough time for me, but I think keeping myself in the gym and keeping myself doing stuff was was actually beneficial for keeping my mind right and keeping focused. Yeah, if you'd have sat there and vegetated, yeah. you'd have been, yeah. you, you would have been in the right frame of mind. No, and, stop. and probably going the world's strongest man that year probably wouldn't have been a good move if I'd have been in that mindset. No, of course not. Of course not. Go, I mean, going into world's strongest man, I was, 2010, I was, you know, my, my aim was to go there and make the final. I yeah. mean, and, and to be honest, I, I sort of felt like if I made the final, then I've done well because of, you know, this serious injury, uh, I only had 11 weeks um, up from the surgery to World Strongest Man. So rehab, you had 11, which yeah. is nothing. Literally, I mean, I had like probably five weeks training, not in a cast, and um, of that five weeks, obviously, I still couldn't use my arm a lot because I couldn't even train. No, so no, no. I probably only actually had three weeks good training, so. And where did you come to overall? I, you I came qualified? Up, yeah, made the final, which I was over the moon with, and come eighth place. It was. Which ain't great, I mean, but... I, yeah, but under the circumstances, yeah. the problem is, no one ever sees that, you, no. you know, you see, no one ever sees a build up to it, or the fact, you know, and yeah. unless you're banging the strong man, you don't know that you, you've had an injury, you know, you know, once once a year, people yeah. that watch strong man, you know, at Christmas time, yeah. um, they wouldn't know that, would they, necessarily, no. you know, and, and that is a good, you know, eighth place is blind. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was, I was, I was proud of that. I mean, yeah. There's, there's been a few, a few, sort of moments where I've been proud of things that I've done and, and that, that well, I was actually proud of that, making the final that year because yeah. everyone had written me off going into it. Everyone was like, no, he's got no chance of doing anything when he gets to World's Strongest yeah. Man. He's, he's not going to stand a chance. And, you know, to come eighth, it sort of proved that I was still competitive. Yeah. To be top 10 in the world with basically one arm work, you know, yeah, about yeah, yeah, 50%, yeah. I, was, I was happy with that. That's superb. Now that year also, you won, um, you won the Champions League. Uh, yeah, I ended up, um, Coming well, I built up enough points through the competitions. I did a couple more after World Strongest Man. I got a podium in one of them and came fourth in the other, and um, in second place and a fourth place, and that ended up being enough to secure me the the overall title, which was first, first time you've ever won that. Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, it was you know a good achievement because it, it showed the consistency throughout the year. Although, yeah. although World Strongest Man didn't go so well, but winning the Champions League is almost. It's good in a different way, you know, because yeah. it shows that you've been consistent throughout the year. Yeah, it's more of a, yeah, I mean, you're, there's a lot of shows involved there, isn't it? You know what I mean? So that, yeah. that is good, you know? Yeah, because so you have um, the different events. I mean, at World's Strongest Man, if you get lucky and the events are right for you, you know, you can have a good result. If you, if you get the wrong events, you could do badly. But where I 
done, won the league, it showed that, because each competition was different events, it showed that I was consistent and um, always up near the top and placing well. I mean, yeah. I, was, I was really proud of that. That's brilliant, mate. That's brilliant. And then, of course, you went to the Arnolds, which we spoke about. Yep. Didn't go so well. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually did the Fit Expo in, in LA in January. That was to qualify me for. Was that the All American? Uh, yeah. Play, was that the All American Classic? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. And um, I mean, that went really well. I felt in amazing shape when I went there. I um, placed lower than second place on an event. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I felt in great shape. The trouble is, when I got back from that, I only had five weeks till the Arnolds which is the heaviest show you'll ever do in your life. Yeah. But I, to be honest, I panicked a little bit and <laughs> perhaps tried to lift a little bit too heavy in training than I needed to. Yeah. Again, I um, was training stones, one that I borrowed off Rob Frampton, it's like 230 kilos. Yeah. And um, yeah, I managed to tear, tear the other bicep. So, but I mean, part of that could be because I came back so quickly from that one. Of course. But, um, it was really frustrating, but to be, again, you know, I think adversity, adversities can be a, a benefit. You know, I come back from it motivated and, and ready to go. And you feel positive now? Yeah, I feel. I mean, I feel really good. I, I'm sort of just about to get myself ready, start getting ready for next year's Arnold. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I feel confident. I want to go there and come top for it. Well, that's in March. March. Yeah. March, yeah. March, yeah. March, March 2012. Big year 2012. Tell them, obviously. We can't talk about World Strongest Man 2011. Yeah. Um, it. We won't talk about it as respect for the competition. Obviously, we can't do it for legal reasons anyway. But that'll be on telly at Christmas on Channel Five. So make sure you watch that. Watch Terry. See how he gets on. I mean, you obviously had a good time at the hotel. Yeah. You know, and that's that's about as much as we can say about World Strongest Man. Yeah. You ready for the Arnolds in March? And. 2012 aims and ambitions, mate. What, what how do you feel? Um, I mean, to be honest, the, the the targets for me at the minute are just get out to the Arnold's, come at least third place. There, I want to be on the podium, be with a shot of winning, and then after that, it'll be literally the prep will start for World's Strongest Man, and um, I desperately, desperately want to go on and win World's Strongest Man next year. I feel like I'm sort of got the experience now that I need to yeah. go on and do it, and. Um, I feel like I've got the strength as well. It's just about getting everything right training-wise and peaking at the right time. Yeah. I, I felt pretty close this year. I felt like I almost got it right, but there was a few little tweaks afterwards. I could have, you know, looking back on it, I could have done things a little bit differently. But yeah, I feel like next year I can go on and win World's Strongest Man, and then I can retire a happy man. Exactly. So that's your that's that's your ambition. Yeah. Like, we, we, I mean, that was obvious anyway. World's yeah. Strongest Man. That's what you've got to be telling it. I mean, that's, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like if, if I don't win World's Strongest Man before I retire, then I've, I've pretty much let myself down because I know I've got the talent to do it. I know I've got the natural ability. So it, all the all the sort of talent in the world, if you you know if you win World's Strongest Man, then you've earned that. Of course, you, you know, know. You ain't going to get it given to you, mate, no, that's for sure. You, you can't win World's Strongest Man just by being talented. No, you've got to work hard and train hard, and, and have these knocks that you've yeah. had, and have all, all these, you know, things that are thrown up and yeah. everything. Oh yeah, of course. Because I mean, being mentally strong is just as uh, just as important as being physically strong. Yeah, you know, world's strongest man. It's not just about going in the gym and lifting weights. You've got to be fit, fast, and more importantly, mentally strong and yeah. ready to get out there and fight for every single point that you get offered. And you're learning all the time, too. All the time. Never yeah. too late to learn, is it? I mean, no, like, definitely even, not. Even at, even at your level, you're, you're learning all the time. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I've completely changed my training around this year and um, from sort of spent a week over in Italy um, on a TV show with Drew Nasevikas, chatting a lot about training with him and I changed everything around a lot and it actually made a, made a big difference. Good friends with the, the drones? Yeah, I mean, I'm good friends with all the guys, to be honest. Yeah, you say, it seems like there's a lot of camaraderie yeah, you know, I mean, between the boys. Not just, not just between you Brits either, but, you, no. know, you know, between everyone, you know. Yeah, I mean, we all respect each other. I mean, not just the world guys, you know. Everyone from, like, novice competitions right up to world's strongest man, I've got tons of respect for them because I know how old it is. Yeah, well, that's one thing I'll say about you, Tell, is no matter what competition, no matter what level the competition is at, you always seem to be there. If you can get there, phys you know, physically get there, you're always there supporting, you know, yeah. supporting your fellow strong men and, and women at times as well. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it weren't it weren't that long ago that I was I was competing in those competitions. So, sort of try not to sort of forget that. You know, six and a, or six and a half years ago I was doing competitions like that. So it's um it's important to not forget that. I mean, 
I'm, I'm lucky that I've been sort of given the, the body that I've been given. I'm yeah. sort of very lucky that, you know, I've been gifted this to, you know, an opportunity to be good at the sport I do. But some of the guys that haven't been gifted that have to work that much harder than I do. Whether they're good. competing in novice competitions or higher, you know. They're they, still they, pushing they, themselves to the limit. Exactly. They work just as hard as I do, probably. You know, it's, it's only yeah, a case of... That's right. You know, I, I was born big and I was sort of born pretty fast and pretty athletic for a guy my size. You're and for this one, really. Yeah, pretty strong, much man. born to be a strong man, that's it. <laughs> Tell, I wish you all the best. Thanks very much, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me, Danny. Tell, really appreciate it. No, thanks very much. Thank you, mate. Cheers.